<laughs> Today's challenge is what's in the box? So we have a lovely box here with a mystery item in. Now Karen is going first and she has put something in the box. I don't know what it is. And um, I have 10 questions to figure out what it is. My first question is, is this a character of some kind? No, it oh. is not a character of some kind. Is this thing soft? Yes, it is. It is soft. Okay. Is this thing a item of clothing? No. Is it something you wear? Then? Yes. It's something you wear, but it's not clothing. Is it something that you wear on your feet? No. Okay, so it's not going to be service. Is it something you wear on your hands? No. Okay. Is it something you wear on your head? Yes. Is it uh, a form of protection? In a weird way, yeah. Is it something you wear over your mouth? No. You asked if it was worn over your mouth, mm -hmm. suggesting it might be a face mask. It might be similar to that. Is it old? No, I don't think so. I don't know. So I have come back with our lovely box. Oh, what's and now inside? It's time to figure out what is inside. That is the game, Kim. Yeah. So it's my turn now to yes. ask some questions. Is it something that entertains you? Yeah. Is it electronic? Yeah. It is. Okay. Okay. Is it something you play games on? Yeah. Oh. Do you use this thing often? Not person, but you could. Okay. Can you do other things on this part of the games? Uh, yes. Is it touch screen? No. Is it quite old? Uh, I wouldn't say so. What kind of electronic device is in touch screen if it was made in the last like, couple of years? Do you plug it into something in order to use it? Yes. Um, is it a gas lamp? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Jonah, you are wrong. It is so obvious because the item <laughs> was an eye mask. Eye mask. Is it a controller? Big reveal. Here it is, it's a it's, lovely control. It's an Xbox controller! <laughs> Bad people will get what they deserve. Good people will be rewarded for their deeds. You reap what you sow. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. You reap what you sow. You give what you get. What goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. It's a principle that permeates all aspects of life. From physics, every action has an equal and opposite reaction to relationships. Our actions and our behaviours have an impact. When we do something wrong, we like to think we can get away with it. And for a while, it might even feel like we can. But in reality, if we hurt another person, if we damage another, that will damage us. The shame tugs at us, the guilt gets to us. Did you know 80% of criminal cases are solved because a person confesses? Not because of forensic evidence or witnesses, 
but the person confesses. That tells us that there is something in each of us that knows we must take responsibility for our actions. We need to own our choices. You reap what you sow. Now, don't misunderstand. These verses aren't saying that only bad things happen to bad people and only good things happen to good people. That's not how life works. What it is saying is there are real consequences to our choices. But the point is this, we have a choice. And Jesus presents to us the best choice we can make when he tells us to treat others as we want to be treated. Imagine if everyone did that. How different would our lives be? God, please help us to be people who speak out against injustice and to defend those who are abused or oppressed. Remind us to treat others as we want to be treated. Help us to own the consequences of our actions and do what is right and what is kind. In Jesus' name, Amen. It's time to live it. It's time for us to take responsibility and own our choices. It's time to leave behind those hurtful behaviours and instead treat others as we want to be treated. Step up to the challenge. Choose to help, not to hurt.